I mean, I would say just to get the kind of cautious backdrop uh, out there, uh, very, very mild follow through today on the S&P 500 to yesterday's rally. Uh, obviously, we remain near the lower end of the range. Definitely a very uh, kind of twitchy market. Um, very defensive sectors were leading, right? So that's kind of the backdrop that the market is still a little bit back on its heels. But I, I think you have to take notice of the fact that each of the last three days, you had pretty big uh, sell-offs in the morning that were recovered either mostly or completely. Uh, it seemed like the market was calming itself today. You had a lot of juice come out of the volatility index down below 19. Of course, you're heading into a quiet, potentially quiet day, uh, holiday week. So I do think the market is looking for signs of being able to kind of heal itself. And also, if you took out, and you can't always take them up, take out the very big tech stocks, and the market today looks a little bit better uh, both today and this week. So I think it's kind of a two-way market, and the overseas uh, hard-hit markets have gotten some traction. So I think you have to be on alert for the fact that maybe um, we have a little bit of potential to have an upside spark. Uh, David, do you think we're going to test either the highs of the year or the lows of the year before we uh, get to the end of the year? Well, it's a pretty short time between then and now, but I, I, I think we're just going to sit in this trading range, uh, which is not a bad place. The market's up for the year uh, on balance, so that's, you know, Given what we've been through, you think the market was down 30 percent or something. But I think it's all about rates and to some degree about trade. I think we got some interesting news about rates. And that, I think, is the big issue because this market is liquidity. It's about liquidity. It's about the stock market being open in a metaphorical sense. And, and rates could close that. I think the, the, seg the segment that you had on with Jim Cramer, what, three, four, five minutes ago, that's what's, I think, going to change the narrative if the Fed does change their stance and change their wording. So that, that's going to be a big part of what the market responds to in the next year or so. Now, President Trump moved the market today with his comments uh, regarding the status of trade uh, and in particular with China. We put on tariffs on $250 billion worth of goods and we have another 267 billion to go if we want to. We may not have to do that. China would like to make a deal. Uh, our country has done very well and China, as you know, has not done very well. Mike, the market's moved on this. Yes. I mean, it's not anything tangible yet. So is it legitimate that the markets are moving? It's not tangible yet. It somewhat echoes some, t some of what we've heard before. Uh, I think it's legitimate in the sense that the market had gotten itself kind of compressed to a level where you can look for the glimmers of light on something like this. And also, the next wave of tariffs is almost entirely the president's choice, right? So it's not as if it's some official out there trying to send some message. If he wants to send a conciliatory message and have the talk of a deal in the air before G20, I think it's legitimate. I don't think it's the make or break issue for this market, but we're in a mode right now where the market is willing um, to sort of take any daylight uh, it can find.